last food adventure before we lock down in England again for another four weeks. So, four weeks, no, I said four weeks, four weeks. And then we're doing some more stuff at home. So, should have been in Vietnam by now, but can't get a flight. So I've come to Pho, Vietnamese street food. Check out some stuff. There's some lovely little bits here of street food and Pho, as you'd imagine. So I'm gonna go in and see what it's all about. Let's go. Welcome to Pho, Vietnamese street food. Um, so I've been doing my homework on Vietnamese food for a long time. Some of the stuff that I wanted to try isn't on the menu here, but there's some stuff that is. So I just did a little whip around there, just got some, some bits to start. So my pronunciation isn't great, but Pha La Lok, which is um, marinated beef um, wrapped in a beetle leaf and then grilled. Um, you get it with pickled carrots, um, Loads of Vietnamese herbs, mint I can smell already, um, some vermicelli noodles and then um, the lettuce leaf and what you do is you pile it all together and wrap it all up, I'll show you that when I eat it. And we got some chicken based spring roll things that come in um, rice paper, stuffed full of fresh veggies and herbs and then some spicy summer vegetable rolls that have got, um, they're the ones with the, the carrot around it, with the peanut dipping sauce. Um, mushrooms hanging out so cracking I'm gonna wrap up my first uh, bar, bar la lot show you what it's all about spent a lot of time watching how to do this properly harder than it looks you eventually get everything wrapped up inside here so it's the beef vermicelli noodles um, the herbs so I've got mint and Vietnamese coriander and the pickled carrots and stuff then you get a little dipping bowl of um, like fish sauce and chili. Give it a dip. Mm. It's beef. Right. I don't know what they've used to marinate it, but. Super soft. That's what I love about street food, you just get in a mess. It doesn't matter that my hands are covered in food. It doesn't matter that my beard is going to smell like fish sauce for the next three days, probably. We're going on lockdown. The coriander. Washing it all down with a beer cycle. Next is the spring roll. So this is chicken, vermicelli noodles, some other veg in here. Then you've got like some mint leaves, some lettuce, and it's all wrapped in this sticky, soft rice paper. This again comes with fish sauce. Smell, it smells really fresh. It smells nice, like a nice street food. I'm telling you, it's not Vietnamese street food prices in here. <laughs> Fresh. A small confession to make. I said it was chicken. I'm back with my vegetarian guest. I'm thinking the worst places for a vegetarian guest, but vegetarian guest, this is fake chicken. And you know what? It tastes like chicken. I think the chefs are having us on. I'm right. Look at this little medley of veggies, mushrooms here, carrots, 
red peppers, red onions, yellow peppers, and again, the herbs. Always get the herbs in everything Vietnamese. So, more mint, more coriander, wrapped in a leaf, wrapped in a bit of a nice slither of carrot. Um, and it comes with a peanut dipping sauce. So these are spicy salad rolls. Dip that very well. Very fresh. I think the sauce is what makes it the peanut dipping sauce is what makes these. It's a bit too raw veggie for me. Action! The rest of the food is here. So I've gone for beef brisket but not faux, what do you think about there? But, 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 not fast, I think that means something else in Vietnamese. I think it's the lady of the night. Um, don't order one of those and expect some food to come. So anyway, I've gone for beef brisket, but, uh, which again comes with a side of veggie, uh, herbs. And you just put it in what you want, squeeze the lime, six bits of chilli as well, spice it up. Inside here has got shredded bits of uh, beef, brisket, um, noodles, scallions for my American audience, spring onions for um, everyone else, and lovely broth. It's got a nice film on it, it's greasy, greasy film, which is good. Um, the thing with Vietnamese food is it comes looking beautiful. What you're meant to do is get your chopsticks in, mix it all up, get all those flavours together. So, instir it first, then mix it up. Also got a side of morning glory, which is just some fried, almost like green beans, really. Um, Garlicky. Let me just try that. Mm. It tastes almost like the green part of scallion or spring onion. Nice. And then my vegetarian guest has got some bun, which is vermicelli noodles, which is the white thin rice noodles. Um, some fried tofu, fried spring onions, mushrooms, herbs, pickled carrots, bean sprouts, chili, some sort of sauce on it. Um, it's, a, it's a vegan or vegetarian option and it, it looks good. It looks good. So tuck in. Can't wait. So as part of the vegetarian thing, so there's a little crispy spring roll. Been kind enough to get the end piece dipped in some sort of vinegar. It's a hard sauce to fathom. Hmm, soy. Hmm, yeah, soy and ginger. Oh, wow. Follow it up. Look at this. Little shreds of beef brisket. This is going to be tender beef brisket. Smell. Soft. It's tender. It's juicy. This is a good bop, bop, bop. Having a bit of a moral dilemma with the bop. Am I meant to use this giant wooden spoon to drink the broth? Or am I going to look like a real tourist? It's got to be for the broth, right? It can't be for anything else. It works. 
That one's looking at me funny. It's got a nice aniseedy flavour to the broth. What I like about foot. I don't know what it is that makes that aniseedy flavour. I don't know if they use fennel in Vietnam or whether it's one of the other herbs they put in there. Um, I've added my little plate the bean shoots, mint, coriander, squeeze of lime, a bit of chilli. It's a good thing about Vietnamese food is you put it all on the side, you can chuck in what you like, keep out what you don't, mix it all up, drink from a funny spoon. And here you got the brisket, the nudes, coriander, got some morning glory in there accidentally. I'm going to take you back to the morning glory. It's fried with garlic. It's really good. Skill McGill. Decent meal, it's filling. Too many starters. But this one's not the challenge. I failed that one, remember? And if you haven't seen it, or did I? Check it out. I'll link it up here, whichever way it is. I'll link the video to that ramen challenge. This is. Finishing off, the beer side gone. Can't eat any more food. This is the last meal out before we lock down again. Uh, it's been good. It's been really good. Um, certainly worth coming to for. For, for. Certainly worth coming. Um, good food. So. See you on the other side, some exciting stuff I'm hoping to do through the next four weeks through this lockdown. And then see you on the other side with some bigger plans as soon as I can get on that plane. Peace out.